I want to show you one more way to teach your dog how to heal. Just watch my dog. He stops there. Uh, that's because he knows I don't want him to go further than that. And I just repeatedly had him uh, heal to cross the street. On the other side of the street, there are ducks and pheasants and other um, other uh, critters. And uh, he could be tempted, but he knows he he doesn't supposed to go. I call him, and he comes. Good boy. He likes to smell other dogs. And uh, I have a e collar on him in case he he's tempted to go across ah, 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 ah. see heel heel <laughs> yeah this is why he doesn't Heel. Heel. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I want him to sit and I want him to look at me. Table. And I did this every time we crossed that road. So he, he knows now that that's what he should do. But sometimes uh, we don't know if there's a really strong temptation across the street um, in that kind of situation I he's gonna run so I don't want him to hit by a car or anything. Um, that's why I have uh, e-collar on him uh, around my house uh, especially near near the road. Okay, that's about it. So, um, this is the second way I taught him how to heal. Um, just a repetition of um, having him to heal uh, with me going across that same, same street. Uh, and I do this, um, I would say, at least three times a day to uh, have him out um, to this area. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching.